Today, we're taking a road trip to downtown Grand Rapids. We're not traveling right now, and neither should you be. So we're gonna take you on a trip from my backyard. Grand Rapids is known as Beer City USA, and I, I promise we're going to get to that. But a little while back, Andy and I paddled the Grand River, and I wanted to show you that first. Let's start off by saying that this really isn't a for beginners type of paddle. You want to be confident enough to not really fall in. If you put it on the north side of Riverside Park and paddle down towards downtown, you start off in some really scenic areas with a bunch of cranes and some cool spots. And then as you cross under the railroad bridge, it goes from scenic to downtown. And really that's what makes this so special. It's not that often that we get to paddle through a downtown city. So I don't know if you know this, but the board that I ride is an inflatable. And it's actually a perfect board for riding in the city because you can just go down river as far as you want. And then when you're done, you can just call an Uber. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do when I'm done at the Knickerbocker. Technically, you could portage around the dams and then keep on going down the river, but this is where we stopped and we ended up grabbing ourselves a beverage. All right, so now on to the brewery part. Um, we do this thing that we call test flights. And the reason why we do it is because I wouldn't say that I have a sophisticated enough palate to review what kind of beers. I pretty much like all of them. So what I can do is I'll go to a brewery, order a test flight, and then tell you which my favorite is. That way you kind of have somewhere to start from. And the last time we did that was on Bridge Street on the west side of Grand Rapids. Definitely gonna do the Flight of the Dragon. <laughs> I'm gonna go with raspberry. Nice. It's like, man, all those dragons were awesome. They were all really good. And I'm afraid of what we're gonna go like next. Like, <laughs> that's gonna be hard to beat. <laughs> I definitely am last one. The Vita. Yeah. The first two spots we went to, we just listened to the bartender and had them pick our flight. And this time, Andy looks like he's studying for finals. After we got done filming the test flights at the breweries, uh, we got in contact with our friends at Ferris and they wanted us to come do a test flight at their place. And at that point, it made me realize that this concept can be expanded to more than just beers. And uh, I'll explain more about that after I show you the Ferris clips. Yeah, this coffee is called Costa Rica Montañas del Diamantes. I think he said it right. <laughs> the right here is set to 208 degrees. That's okay. Amazing, and that's as hot as your brewers get as well. It has like a, a little bit of a savory note. 90% of the battle to get light roasted coffee to taste amazing is having really good water. Um, so Costa Rica is known for having a bunch of micro mills, and that's what makes their coffee so unique. Okay. In my mind, I don't think I love dark, and I usually tend towards light, but I really like this one, so that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, that was the one with the crazy name, right? Yeah, Montañas del Diamantes. Okay. <laughs> West Coast. Yep. Colombia French Roast. This one was Brazil Primavera. Ethiopia Misty Valley. Kenya Thariqua. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to go with this one. Costa Rica think... Montañas del Diamantes. Yeah, I'm not going to try to say it. I'm just going to point <laughs> at it. <laughs> All right, so here's the idea. You can do an at-home test flight challenge. 
you don't have a bunch of beers to line up, that's totally fine. You can do it with snacks. You can do it with popcorn, grilled cheese, quesadillas, oatmeal. All you have to do is take the same thing and prepare it three different ways. Then you can have your family or whoever you're living with test it and you guys can figure out which ones you like the most. It's a great way to maybe change up what you've been doing for the last couple of weeks and it seems like a lot of fun. I guess if you're kind of wanting to start a fight in your own house, the best way to do it would be have everybody make their own version of it, like each make their own version of a peanut butter and jelly, and then test flight those, and then vote against each other on which one's the best. And if you liked this video, please like, subscribe, and, and share it with somebody that you kind of want to do test flights with. To everybody that's in Grand Rapids, I love you guys. Please stay safe, and until next time, cheers.